there was always diseases going on and right. communicable diseases. Did you have to be quarantined ever? Oh yeah, you oh did? yeah. I mean, the whole place would be shut down. There'd be a quarantine sign on the outside for people coming that say quarantine, that meant keep out. A former staff member of the orphanage reports there were 30 headstones of buried orphans in the fields here, and somehow they have mysteriously disappeared, leaving a recipe for innocent souls who have not only lost their mommies and daddies, but have lost their own identities. Now from all these buildings, where did you live? This would be the first building I went in. This is? Yeah. The kids that went to bed would put their sheets on the radiator to dry yeah. them so they wouldn't get a whipping for wetting the bed. Do you believe the physical beatings was right to do here at the orphanage? As a child, I thought maybe that was how they cured it. I found out that it didn't work because they still wet the bed. That matron come out enraged with her whip. <laughs> and down she'd come and they wet the bed and the kid would turn over and whip the kid and then on to the next. <laughs> I mean, that's just the way to the God's truth. Were you and the other kids constantly in fear of getting a beating? Oh, of course. It's my mother's birthday today. This morning it was cold out, so when I came downstairs, I got by the radiator. Orbs came down and hit me with the hose. A uh, hose doesn't make any noise, but it does hurt, but you can't scream because you hurt so bad. Mm -hmm. So they have to hit harder to get a rise out of you. As we set up our next interview, storm clouds roll in as if the restless souls of the orphans are crying out to us. All right, let's go. Janie Wassman was employed by the orphanage in the 1970s. Did, did the kids ever get out of line where you had to give them a whooping? I can't tell you what I did to the one kid. <laughs> Why can't you tell me? We had cafeteria duty and he was supposed to clean the toilets and he didn't want to, and he'd go, oh. Oh. I said, you do that one more time, and I'm shoving your head in that toilet bowl. And by God, I did. I never heard him go, oh, ever again. You, you shoved his head in the toilet bowl? Yeah, I flushed it. Do you think any of the kids were ever killed here? Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. All they had to do was backhand them and they'd fall down the stairs. Bang, we lost one more. To hear a former matron laugh about inflicting child abuse as punishment for a simple gesture disturbs me. Could violent behavior like this be the cause of such unrest here? I've lived in Montana since 2000. I was originally born in Kalispell. Curtis Mathis is good friends with Leslie, owner of the orphanage. I stopped at the basketball court or hoop area, and what I was looking at was a bunch of kids playing basketball, but they weren't, I, they weren't flesh. It wasn't flesh and bone I was looking at. I was looking at definitely something different. 